if you keep going, right, it gets more and more bare minimum effort. Anyway, but then they became more bare minimum. Hey everyone, it's Sunny. So I actually, oh, welcome back to a new video. I really should be studying for my exam that's in two days right now. I was studying, but I actually really wanted a study break and I really, really felt like journaling in my book journal for a little bit. So I thought that would be a good opportunity to make this video because I have been wanting to show you guys. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of people's like book journal, like reading journals and stuff like that. Um, They're all over YouTube and all over BookTube. Um, I'm just going to say right now that mine is definitely not like those other ones. So please lower your expectations if you have them right now and there's a couple of books that i have finished but i haven't had the time to like record down in here um so i thought i would do that for my study break so if you guys don't know here she is this plain black notebook literally looks like the death note um yeah so this is my book journal book journal in like the most bare minimum sense of the word book journal let me say that this is actually my second or so my third one i've been through a couple already but this is the one that i have right now i'm just over halfway through it. Anyway, when I say book journal in the bare minimum sense of the word, this is literally what I mean. I actually started this, I think, near the beginning of the year. And I thought that I was going to be one of those people who could be like artsy about it. Like, look at this first page. I wrote, the world is your oyster. And I drew an oyster. Oh my gosh, I was actually doing the most. And I, there's this page that I thought it was cute that I've seen people's reading journal where people would like make a shelf and, and fill out every book that they read. I stopped really, really soon. Like the last book that I read, Luck of the Titanic. I read this many, 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 many moons ago. And then I even went so far as to start doing this like drawing the covers i could not by the end mm -mm, no way no sir that's not my destiny so basically what i do i'll show you my exact process when i start journaling i think i just have to do like two books but the broad overview is that for every book that i read that i actually want to journal there are some books that i read that i literally just don't journal this is one of my first ones that i put into this journal so obviously it's like the effort is there the effort is no longer there wow i really used to go all out who was she? But this is for the Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee and I like matched it to the cover and everything There's even some quotes that I put like in between This one says in love we find out who we want to be in war we find out who we are It's actually like the opening line to The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna And then this was right before I journaled The Nightingale Which again, I was literally doing the most Look at her, can you believe that? That could not be me This one again I've grown to find peace and acceptance and not fighting what I can't control to A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow Okay, what I used to do is I used to write one of my favorite quotes from the book that I'm journaling on this page and then on the next page is when I would actually put that book down so this is for a Cuban girl's guide this was in the afterlight by Alexandra Bracken and here's a quote from the series that that's from frankly the way I see it you and me inevitable iconic love that I'm actually crying if you keep going right it gets more and more bare minimum effort again still did it for when we were infinite oh by the way the, the markers that I use if anyone's curious it's like the most cheapest one that I could Google that you can just bulk buy from Amazon. I mean, not supporting Jeff Bezos, but Jeff Bezos' gift to me. They're like the Crayola super tips, I think. They're like the ones that a lot of people use. Um, I have not touched these ever since I moved in here, but you can clearly see past a certain point. I like stopped even writing, and I used to write the titles in the these brush pens like the tombow brush pens by the way these are my first time ever using the brush pens because i was into like fake calligraphy but now i don't know how to do like real calligraphy anyway but then they became more bare minimum my book journal consists of just writing down all of the quotes pretty much yeah all of the quotes and passages from the books that i read that i want to have recorded down in my journal either because i love them so much i'm so obsessed with them i want to go back and read them because they're so profound or i want to be like reminded of a certain part of the book or in most cases because i'm so obsessed with like a couple or relationship and I literally will write down every single interaction that they ever have with each other which takes up the majority of why I go through these book journals so fast I will literally write pages upon pages This page is literally just random quotes about reading It literally says just random quotes about reading I guess I was kind of in a mood This one here we have It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and I literally started writing it in not even proper handwriting too because even that was like too much effort Also I feel like I like the vibes of writing it in cursive like, I had posted a picture of one of the pages from my book journal It actually might have been this one I actually think that it was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover on my Instagram and then someone commented Wow, like you have such nice handwriting I don't normally write like this This is not my normal handwriting When I just write other things that I actually have to read I write just in my normal handwriting and this is kind of what my non 
non-cursive just print writing looks like. For my book journal, I write in cursive like this because I think that it, I like the vibes, but also it's just way more efficient to write because I have to write so much for some of these books that it's just inefficient. It's just not ergonomic to keep writing and lift the pen off the page, which is nice because then it made me improve my cursive. But anyway, here's the one that I wrote most recently last night. It was for the Atlas 6, which I read a long time ago, so I'm so freaking late. Here it is. So I write the Atlas 6 and then the author. I literally don't write anything. I don't write a rating. I don't write a book review. I don't write even a summary about what this book is about. And literally just goes right into the quotes that I highlighted. And this took up one, two, three, four, five, five, five pages. It literally took up five whole pages. And they're literally all just moments of Nico and Libby because I'm obsessed with their storyline and I need the next books right now, all Libby Blake. So as you can see, I literally just write the author. I write the title and then I just literally go in chronological order of all of my highlights that I have when I read this book. And I'll show you two later, but the great thing about reading ebooks like this is that every time that you highlight text, you can go onto your annotations tab and it shows you every single thing that you highlighted in order in the book. After I read a book, I just go to that annotations tab and I just have like the book here and I have my notebook here and I just go and I literally copy down every single quote. And some of them are just like literally a sentence or like a line. And then some of them are like paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs. Like this one, this whole thing, this whole thing, which I'm pretty sure transfers to the next page. Yep, right here too. Literally like entire dialogues and dialogues of things. So yeah, that's like the grand overview. I have to journal two books. I have to journal The Hawthorne Legacy and The Bronze Beast, which I finished in my last reading vlog. So you can go ahead and watch that if you want to see me like actually reading it. But yeah, let's journal together. Okay, so here we are. Please don't judge me for my crusty looking wooden desk. This came with a house. This is not my desk. Here, I have my book journal. This is the pen that I use in case anyone's curious. Um, I don't know where I got it. Um, if anyone's curious, it's the Papermate Comfort Mate Ultra 1.0M, whatever that means. It's literally just a black ballpoint pen. I'm not picky about my stationery. Um, I will literally use whatever comes in bulk at Dollarama. Anyway, so I just go into my book like this. Let me turn the brightness up. The first one that I'm going to journal is the Hawthorne Legacy. This is the annotations tab. Every single thing I highlighted while reading this book comes in here. Oh, I don't even have to scroll. I only have this much to do. Um, for a lot of the books that I read, I have to like keep scrolling, scrolling because I just highlight so much. But for this one, I didn't highlight that much. That just means that there weren't a lot of moments or a lot of things that I wanted to highlight. So I go to a fresh page like this. I'm like really self-conscious about what my hands look like right now. Um, because I have like really big hands. I have like really long fingers. My friend tells me that I have salad fingers. Okay, so here at the top, I literally just write the Hawthorne Legacy. And my handwriting is all always so ugly when I first start. I need to like warm up. You know what I mean? So there it is. I literally just wrote the Hawthorne Legacy. And then I write the author underneath. Her name's Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Oh my gosh, did I tell you what I did this morning? Do you know that I had to message one of my profs in my faculty? And her name was Jennifer. There's so many Jennifers. I messaged the wrong Jennifer. That's so embarrassing. Okay, anyway, so here's how it starts out. I literally just write the Hawthorne Legacy and then the author. This is like such the bare minimum like reading journal I swear. Okay, and then I literally just go through and I write each quote is in each block. I literally just go in order and I write each one. So the first one says, Grayson is the physical manifestation of your avoidant attachment style. The reason that I highlighted this was because I literally just thought it was so funny and I'm in love with Grayson Hawthorne. So we're just gonna write that. Oh my gosh, I misspelled that. Yeah, and if I make a mistake, I'm like not cute about it. I literally just cross it out and I just keep going because this book journal is literally for who? It's literally for me. Who am I trying to impress? Oh my, I, well, I didn't even need to write Hawthorne. <laughs> Okay, there we go. For Grayson, Grayson is the physical manifestation of your avoidant attachment style. I just wrote that as the first one. And then what I do is I literally just put a hatch here for when it's done. Um, I don't write anything, literally not the chapter, not the page. I actually used to do that. Ebook pages are so inconsistent. Like there's no way that I'm ever gonna go back into the book to try to find it or anything. I have it right here. Why do I need the book? So I literally just put a hatch and then I skip a line and then I start the next one on like two lines down just so that you can like tell when things are like a separate passage. And then I just write the second one. There you go. And I just finished my second one. And I literally just go through. I do the same process for literally every single quote on here until I fill up the pages. And that's literally it. That's literally all I do for my book journals. Yeah. And this is literally just for me. It's literally just so that I can keep track of it. And so I can like go back and revisit any of my favorite books or any of my favorite quotes. And the other thing is that this is literally just writing therapy. This might be like something specific. Sorry, my face is not on camera. So I'm like trying my best to like talk with my hands because I'm too lazy to reset the camera. But it's literally just writing therapy for me because it's just a good break. Like, 
it really helps me like unload or like express myself literally just the physical act of writing is really really calming and therapeutic for me for some reason and so that's actually how this all started and because i like get so like invested and i have such a big emotional attachment to the book sometimes like i just get so overwhelmed with like emotion and like so distracted with how much i'm obsessed with a book and i can't stop thinking about it so much to the point that it impedes my daily function i can't get anything done and being able to write it out and take time to like put it into like put pen to paper like this actually helps release that energy a lot and then after i do that i can kind of like move on from the book if that makes sense like this is kind of how i get closure from a book and it's really really super helpful like if you're like me um then you should try this and it's actually so 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 helpful and it's satisfying and you literally have everything you love about all the books that you've ever read ever into like this one book that you can just like carry around how powerful is that oh my gosh the day that anyone discovers this and reads through this entire thing is like i'm going to like fall off the face of the earth because that's so embarrassing and personal and intimate for no reason anyway i'm gonna finish the rest of this and then i'm going to do my second book Okay, so now that I finished that, here's my one entry. It's literally only took one page, which is such a rarity in all of my book journals. If you ever see my first book journal, which I don't have with me right now, cause it's all filled up. I filled it up ages ago. Um, and it has all of like my all time, all time favorite five, 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 five star reads in it. Um, that one is fat and it has like five books in it, I feel like, because there was just so much that I needed to write. I just have the bronze beast left to do. And then I think that I'm going to be all caught up. Or sometimes if I end up rereading one of my favorites, I'll like re-record it and it'll just be like a different experience. Like, I don't know because we can look back and like remember when I was like journaling it like that's what makes it so special So six of crows obviously this is not all of it But when I reread it past year, um, these are like just ones that I wanted to journal down And those are the ones that like I just really really wanted to write same thing with like lady midnight and like the raven cycle All of those books here's clockwork angel clockwork prince clockwork princess and then this is the raven cycle Obviously collectively those are just like four pages But in like my original like in the first time that I journaled them like each of them literally took up like 14 20 25 pages And then here is just a page where I just put this quote because I rediscovered this quote um, at this time I guess and it really resonated with me and I really wanted to write it down the classic from the perks of being a wallflower we accept the love we think that we deserve and then I have also this random quote that I decided that I wanted to put on here is one of my favorite quotes of all time I literally have it on my wall right there um, and it's it was books that made me feel that perhaps I was not completely alone Will Herondale says that from the infernal devices and I just wrote that down anyway so that's it that, that was my quick introduction to my book journal um like I said it's the most bare minimum book journal you'll ever see but it works and it's effective and the most important thing is that it's special and personal to me and that is literally all that matters anyway my roommate is about to write an exam for like the next two hours in our house so i had to be quiet and i decided that i'm going to spend the next two hours grinding i'm glad to study but this is a good study break and i'm glad that we got to spend it together and wish me luck anybody who's also grinding good luck hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching as always love you guys so much um be sure to subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram at cindy kim reads and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye Thank <sniffs> you.